So, Robert, some economists were saying, okay, they're expecting a 25 basis point hike. This is 50, not something that all economists were calling for. A lot were saying 25. Was this a lot steeper than you had anticipated? No, this is what we actually had in our in our forecast. So not a surprise for us. And and to be honest, the market was pretty evenly split on this. Some were looking at a 25 basis point move. Some were some were looking at a 50 basis point move. So so no surprise here. I think the biggest thing that we're taking away from today is that yes, the Bank of Canada uh, raised rates at the high end of what was expected with this 50 basis point move, but they also came out and said, look, this might be it for this cycle. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on inflation, but we're not going to be as 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 wed to rate hikes going forward, given what's happening in the economy and the inflation backdrop. Right, and that change in tone from the bank, Robert, seems to be a pretty big departure from what we saw during the last interest rate hike in October when the bank was signaling that it expects the interest rates would con- would need to rise further. So what has changed since then? Well, a couple of things. I think there's some evidence on the ground that inflation is cooling. We're obviously not back to the 2% target that the Bank of Canada wants to see. And obviously, we're not feeling it when we're out, you know, buying groceries and, and, and looking for a place to live and stuff like that. But when you look at inflation momentum on the ground, it is cooling down. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that the Bank of Canada is looking at a pretty significant correction in housing. And I'm sure at this point, they're, you know, they're running their models and looking out to the first half of, of 2023 in this interest rate environment, it's going to be, be a pretty tough environment for the Canadian economy to, to push through without at least a moderate downturn, just given the significant increase in rates that we've seen to this point. So I think, I think those two factors combined uh, allow them to, to step back here and, 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 and see how this plays out. Right, you kind of alluded to it there, Robert, but a lot of people have been throwing around the R word, recession, uh, the expectations that Canada could be entering a recession uh, in the new year. Let's talk a little bit more about that, how this interest rate hike will factor into a potential recession, the impact it could have. Well, I, th- I think the risk is is pretty significant. So I would say if we're handicapping it, I would say at least 50 or 60 percent odds that the economy does fall into a technical recession in the first half of the year. It's it's really hard to to get away from this dramatic a tightening of monetary policy in such a short period of time. So a 400 basis point increase in overnight interest rates compressed within this year, it's the most significant tightening of policy we've seen in a generation. So you got to go back to the 1980s to see this kind of interest rate shock on a similar magnitude. Um, and it does take time for these rate changes to actually filter through the economy. So yes, we've already seen some areas like housing uh, uh, crack and correct right away. Other areas like consumer spending and the job market tend to take a little bit longer to slow down. So the first half of next year, um, even right through the course of next year, is it, it, it's probably going to be much tougher sledding for the economy, just given that we have these rate hikes to absorb. And I, I would say the risk of a downturn is 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 significant for sure. And so just finally here, Robert, what are you expecting to see from the Bank of Canada at that point next year? Well, so this is really the question. Um, you know, the bank could very well raise rates another 25 basis points in January and leave it at that. They might be done here. That's not the more important question. I think the more important question is how long do rates stay at these levels? And for 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 us to actually see the Bank of Canada turn around and start cutting rates, it's probably going to require a, a more significant downturn, and it's definitely going to require a move in inflation back down to 2%. So our view on this would be that, yes, the bank is probably poised to stop raising rates, but we're probably going to be sitting at these high levels right through 2023. And, and, and really, we're not looking at rate cuts being in play until sometime in 2024. So um, that's, a, that's a pretty long window to sit on these high rates, and, yeah. and, and, and hence why we think the economy is going to feel it. Okay, we do have to leave it there, Robert. I wish we had cheerier news here to speak of, but uh, Robert Kavsik, we do appreciate your insight today.